Okay, uh, 2016 uh, Toyota 4Runner. This, this one is the 4.0. So today I'm going to replace the alternator uh, because it's making a lot of noise. Uh, so first thing is, is to remove the battery. So this is number 10. We have to remove the whole thing. So the stand, 10, and the bracket is number 10 too. So. So now we have some room to work here, so we need to release this clip. So it's this little thing right here, so just lift it up and remove the So we're gonna remove this bracket, that's number 10. I remove the bracket. So now we have to remove uh, see that the, the dry belt. So we're gonna this one, this this one right here is the tensioner. So I think it's number 14. Okay, so that's number 14, I use my special tool to remove the, the belt. Uh, this one is uh, Craftsman, and this is the port number right there. And uh, stick it right here. Okay. And we just wanna go this way and release the, the serpentine belt. So we're going to remove this this number ten. Um, let's do something. Let's remove the number fourteen first, and then we remove all the wires on the back. Okay. So I don't think you don't have to remove this one. As far as you can see. So this is number uh, 14. <clears throat> wow. My, this one to release the, the bolt. Now we're going to 
play a little bit with moving Okay, so this is the new alternator. This is from the dealer. Um, there's a Toyota port. So we need to release. We need to play a little bit to get it out. This we need to remove uh, uh, this part right here. Let's see. Yeah. I'm gonna remove this one. Number 10. So we need to remove the connector. So I guess we need to also remove the two number tens. See. This number 10, this one here is one on the back, so we need to remove that too. So that's number 10.
as you can see here, there's a bracket here. So it's something is holding the, the alternator to, to get out. So we need to release this clip here. So is this uh, cable right here. So the clip is, yeah, down here. So we need to release that clip. This had two bolts on the front, but also has one bolt on the back, as you can see. Is this one. This is a number 12. So you need to remove it too. It's all the way back from the alternator. So. I'm using my uh, see. Okay, so finally so let me show you So here is the bracket Okay, so here's the alternator. So you have to remove this bolt, this bolt, and the bolt that is right behind. So to remove the, the bolt, I use my, my little one, number 12, uh, with a small extension to get the bolt that is uh, right there, you can see it, uh, right there, this, uh, this one right here, okay, so, okay, so here's the bolt, it's number 12, Yeah, so let's put this bracket uh, in the new one. Uh, okay. So this is the new bracket with the bracket with the new one. So let's let's put it back in. As you can see this one was really bad. So you can see you can hear the plate. Or this one right here. So, okay. Oh, these holes, okay, guys. Just do it really slow and don't rush, please. This one first, okay, and then I'm gonna get the bottom one. 
in place. So the, the only hard part of this job is uh, the, the ball on the back. So just take your time, okay? You know, it's my, <clears throat> my first time doing this job, so. I didn't know that it was uh, one ball on the back. So, <clears throat> so usually when I change the alternators, it's only two bolts for these Toyotas. The, the one on the front. But this one got an extra one, so I didn't know. So that's, that's the only thing. So I'm installing the, the ball on the back. Just take your time guys and put in this ball on the back if you decide to do it. So I really installed the ball on the back. So now we're gonna put everything back together. So we're gonna install the electric connector here. And the number 10. This one goes here. And this one goes right here. Nice in place. All right, so now we're gonna start the number. 
remember 10 bolts that goes down here. Remember we got two. Okay, so install the number two, uh, number 10 bolts. And then we'll install the, the serpentine belt, the dry belt, whatever the name is. There you go. So I'm gonna install the other one that was on the back, number 10. So then we install the the belt. Okay, so I reinstalled the dry belt, and now the last thing is to inst install the um, battery. And uh, in my case, I replaced the alternator because it was making a lot of noise, but it was charging. So. Um, it was charging between 13.5 to 14.2, so it was good. So you install the new alternator, check the charging, should be between that range, 13.5 and 14.2. So you can check it with uh, your multimeter uh, and 200 volt uh, setting. and. Uh, well, I think that's it guys. Um, I hope this video helped you to change your own alternator. And um, thank you guys again for watching. And by the way, I spent like two hours uh, trying to remove the, <laughs> the alternator. So um, if you're doing this job uh, for a customer, um, you charge around like 220 to replace the, the alternator so all right guys thank you again and uh, i'm gonna put a diagram of the dry belt on the end of this video uh, to let to let you know uh, how the dry belt is uh, so thank you guys again and i'll see you next time